you're out there playing Rust and you have a budget PC build, these settings might actually help you out a lot. As of right now, my FPS goes from anywhere between 112 to about 130 FPS. So if you've been struggling on either playing the game or, you know, having some difficulties in game, then these settings should definitely help you out. Now I do have a budget build at the moment and my GPU is a 1660 Super. So if you have a budget build like a 1660 Super or if you have anything better than the 1660 Super, then these settings are going to work flawlessly for you okay so use these settings and i guarantee you you're going to have a blast and you're going to have even more fps while you play so let's go ahead and get straight into the settings we're going to go to options and then you see we have gameplay options so from here our field of view we raise that all the way up our head bob on our crosshair on hit cross on like you guys can pause the video and see what we got and you know what we chose to take off so i do the uh underwear just because sometimes i do drop videos on this channel rest content and i'm sure y'all don't want to see a whole bunch of twig and berries so let's go down so we have the censorship we turn a lot of this off this is going to actually help us kind of contain some of that fbs i know that my rig can handle more but the fact that i chose to go lower and turn off all the unnecessary things gives me that boost in performance so as we go down we go to physics max gibbs we we turn that all the way down then the uh rgb lighting we have that on and then the brightness we have all the way up so next is our user interface if you guys want to take all of the settings that i have then this is what i have for the user interface but i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys that clicked on this video are only in it for the graphics and all that other stuff but i just wanted to go ahead and show you this if you want all of my settings so we're going to go ahead and get into the screen real quick as you see we our resolution is at 1080 we're rocking the full screen that v sync we turn off the fps limit we turn off and then um we have you know the limit fps in the background and all that stuff so i did turn off the limit so if it can handle it then go for it but if you want to put a limit on it so like maybe your limit could be like 80 or this is something that you'll definitely have to test out though so i just let it run its own thing seeing like after you see the graphics and all the settings for graphics you'll know why i just you know just let the fps go crazy like just do its thing but let's go ahead and click on the graphics real quick now you see our graphics quality we went with four our render scale we went all the way up nvidia dlss we turn that off shadow quality we we pretty much playing on very very low i wanted performance more than you know what it looked like so the performance is what allows us to go and take on these 1v1s and you know come out with some pretty cool clips but this is what i have so far shadow cascades no cascades at all max shadow lights we just turn pretty much everything low draw distance we got that at 1000 uh let's see grass displacement on grass shadows off like all that extra stuff that you really don't need we just turned all of it off and that just gives us a little bit more performance but of course you know this is a budget build and i'm trying to i'm trying to be able to compete with some of these guys that have better builds or better setups than me so this is exactly how we do it so graphics pretty much we're rocking all the way low and uh yeah image effects we turned all of these off for the image effects so this is the type of stuff that'll take away from your fps just all the unnecessary stuff so take off all the unnecessary stuff test it out see if you like it no it doesn't look as crispy as everyone else's but you know we got budget builds and we got to do what we got to do to make sure that we can actually compete and have fun on rust but hopefully this video helps you guys out if it does then let me know down below in the comments let me know what you would change with this build okay i know my build's not at the complete bottom this is you know a really good rig especially for like a mid-tier slash budget build but 
I just feel comfortable, you know, having these settings. So y'all let me know if y'all going to use these settings down below. If this helped you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are interested in watching some Rust content coming very soon. We just dropped a video not too long ago, but we're going to be dropping a lot more and maybe some um, some wipes. So we got a lot of new videos coming soon. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one.